Released in 1947, Black Narcissus stands as a classic example of the potent blend of psychological drama and lush visual storytelling that defined mid-20th century cinema. Directed by Michael Powell and Emeric Pressburger, the film is celebrated for its striking cinematography, intricate character study, and exploration of themes such as obsession, isolation, and cultural clash. Adapted from Rumor Godden's novel of the same name, Black Narcissus has left an indelible mark on the world of film, showcasing the talents of its creators and the enduring power of its narrative. The origins of Black Narcissus trace back to the early 1940s, when British filmmakers Michael Powell and Emeric Pressburger, operating under their production company, The Archers, sought to create a film that would push the boundaries of cinematic storytelling. Both Powell and Pressburger were known for their innovative approaches to filmmaking, often blending rich visuals with compelling narratives. Their collaboration on Black Narcissus was driven by their desire to explore complex themes through the lens of a visually arresting film. The story of Black Narcissus is set in the 1930s and revolves around a group of Anglican nuns who are sent to a remote palace in the Himalayas to establish a convent and school. The narrative explores their struggles to adapt to the unfamiliar and exotic environment, as well as the tensions that arise between their religious convictions and the allure of the local culture. At the heart of the story is Sister Cloda, played by Deborah Kerr, who is tasked with leading the mission and grappling with her own inner conflicts and desires. The source material for the film was Rumor Godden's novel, first published in 1939. Godden's novel was known for its vivid portrayal of the clash between Western and Eastern cultures, as well as its exploration of the psychological impact of isolation on individuals. The book's rich narrative and complex characters provided a strong foundation for Powell and Pressburger to build upon. Their adaptation preserved the novel's core themes while adding their distinctive visual and dramatic flair. One of the most striking aspects of Black Narcissus is its cinematography, which was overseen by Jack Cardiff. Cardiff, a renowned cinematographer, used groundbreaking techniques to create the film's lush and immersive visual style. The use of color, lighting, and camera angles was revolutionary for its time, and Cardiff's work in Black Narcissus has since been lauded as some of the most visually stunning in film history. The film's use of color was particularly noteworthy, with Cardiff employing bold and vibrant hues to convey the emotional and psychological states of the characters. The film's setting, though set in the Himalayas, was actually filmed on location in the studio, with meticulously crafted sets designed to evoke the exotic and mysterious atmosphere of the story. Powell and Pressburger's attention to detail in creating the convent's interior and the surrounding landscapes contributed to the film's otherworldly and dreamlike quality. This setting served as a backdrop for the intense emotional and psychological drama that unfolds. Black Narcissus was also notable for its exploration of complex psychological themes. The film delves into the personal struggles of each character, particularly Sister Cloda, who faces a profound internal conflict as she confronts her own desires and the challenges of her mission. The psychological tension is heightened by the film's portrayal of the nun's isolation and the encroaching influence of the local culture, which stands in stark contrast to their rigid religious beliefs. The film's narrative is driven by the interplay between the Western nuns and the local inhabitants, as well as the gradual erosion of their strict boundaries. The characters' interactions with the local people, particularly with the enigmatic and seductive Mr. Dean, played by David Farrar, highlight the tension between their religious devotion and their burgeoning sense of desire and disillusionment. The film's exploration of these themes is both subtle and powerful, providing a rich tapestry of human emotion and conflict. Upon its release, Black Narcissus received critical acclaim for its innovative filmmaking and strong performances. Deborah Kerr's portrayal of Sister Cloda was particularly praised for its depth and complexity, and the film was noted for its ability to evoke a strong emotional response from audiences. The film's success at the box office and with critics solidified its place as a classic of British cinema and an important work in the oeuvre of Powell and Pressburger. 
In the years following its release, Black Narcissus has continued to be celebrated for its artistic achievements and its exploration of timeless themes. The film's impact on the world of cinema is evident in its lasting influence on visual storytelling and its continued relevance in discussions of psychological and cultural conflict. It remains a testament to the creative vision of its filmmakers and the enduring power of its narrative. Black Narcissus stands as a testament to the ability of cinema to explore complex themes and emotions through innovative storytelling and visual artistry. Its legacy endures as a powerful and evocative film that continues to captivate and inspire audiences, offering a compelling exploration of the human psyche and the challenges of navigating cultural and personal boundaries.